Hello and welcome back to Far Cry 4 Random Map Relay. Um, so, we're going to do something a little different this time. This time we're not going to be doing a random map chosen to us by the game. Instead, we're going to be searching for something else, if I can find it. MGS V Ground Zeroes 5. There it is, okay. So we're gonna be doing something different today. Uh, not the standard random map as chosen by the game, but instead a random map as chosen by um, random chance finding it on the internet, I guess. Somebody apparently put the entire uh, Camp X-Ray, Camp Omega, I forget what it's called, because uh, it's been a while since I played Grand Zeroes, but basically they put the secret prison camp at Gitmo from Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes into Far Cry 4, which seems like a pretty impressive feat. It's an outpost mission, apparently, where you cannot summon an alarm. I have not played it yet, so it's still kind of random, so we're going to give this a shot. No manual heal, no wingsuit, and veil condition on alarm. So it's a little less, uh, little less intense than that one uh, map I did where I got where it was fails even when I got spotted. Yeah. Ah, there we go. So can't heal manually. Health indicators are hidden. No wingsuit. No mini map, which seems kind of weird because I'm pretty sure that it was some sort of mini map in Ground Zeroes. And as I said, game over on alarm. Twenty minutes on the clock. Begin. Wow. Yep. So uh, looks pretty good. I wonder if I need to uh, roll around to get my XOF patch first. Anyway. So. The only downside is that instead of going into another part of the base you can't go to, it just seems to extend out into infinite nothing. But, uh, you know, apart from that, this is really impressive. I mean, rock outcropping, you know, it's probably not 100% accurate, but given what he's worked with, it'd come out really nicely. Hmm. A lot of snipers here. We'll have to be careful. What else do I have for weapons? Nothing. But I do have throwing knives. We're losing ground. I thought we're holding more outposts than the rebels at this point. That's one. these weapons, but I'll probably stick with the 6P9 for the moment because it is quiet, which is very, very important. And here's a busted defense. Oh, come on. There we go. Keeps taking these towers down. How will we hear the latest news from King Min? I haven't listened to the radio in years. That's three. Hmm. No chance of taking that out remotely, anyway. Shit, that was close. Man, I'm getting lucky that I have this impressive accuracy going on. Let's do a little spring cleaning, shall we? Yeah, I remember that truck being there. I don't think there's a shop in this place, though. <laughs> Come see our prison camp gift shop. Free complimentary head bag. Spend $100 or more and get waterboarded absolutely free. Close. 
system. If we can't turn the people's hot, we'll kill them. Z93 is definitely more powerful than that one. Where's the last of you? God, what an idiot. I will destroy Nothing to see here, moving along. That's two of three alarms down. Gotta be more to it than this, though. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> that should have served as a nice distraction. Spread out and look. He was here a second ago. Couldn't throw a knife at that guy, so I guess it's not a knife throwing ability yet. It's fine, I meant to do that. Hmm. Nice. Deceptively short though. I thought it was the entire base. It seems like it was only just that first first area there before you get into the main prison camp. Still though, I had a lot of fun with that. Um, that was definitely a very uh impressive uh, achievement nonetheless. I'd imagine that maybe uh, there's only so much you can do size-wise in the Far Cry 4 map editor, especially in terms of props and whatnot. So still, I mean, it wasn't as big as I thought, it wasn't as long as I thought, but that was really neat. Uh, like I said, that's, uh, you can find it by searching for MGSV for 5, Ground Zeroes 5 in the map. Very nice.